Matt Dickinson has our first question, please. Matt. Uh, yesterday, William Hague said that voters should not make their decision in the referendum on the basis of controlling immigration. Do you agree? William Hague made this statement yesterday. Nigel Farage, was he right? Extraordinary, isn't it? This was, this was the Hague who, of course, was the great Eurosceptic leader of the Conservative Party who fought against the Euro, who railed against European integration and appears to have really rather sold out. Uh, look, whichever way you cut this, immigration is the number one issue in British politics. It has been for some years. Uh, the opinion polls are astonishing. 77% of the British public want cuts to the numbers coming into Britain and over half the voters want a reduction to near zero. So people are very upset, they're very unhappy, they're seeing the impact on local schools, they're seeing the impact on GP services, they're seeing the impact on housing or the inability of young people to get on the housing ladder. So that's why it's the number one issue. And I think that the reason in this referendum why we have to talk about this is all the while, all the while, that which is a British passport, or should be, but the first two words on it, a European Union, that is available to 508 million people. And any of those people, if they wish, can come to this country. We have no control. The only way we get control is to vote to leave the European Union. And I think William Hague shows he's just completely lost touch with where the British public are on this issue. Okay. In my, in my no. mind, this is the issue that will decide the and, referendum. And that... And that right. And, that, and that's why you said it didn't matter if we weren't slightly richer by leaving as long as well, we cut immigration. What I said was this. There are reports that say that we're better off with mass immigration. There are some reports that say we're slightly worse off economically with mass immigration. But to me, there's an issue called the quality of life. And I, and I think that matters more than money. It's about thinking our kids and grandkids can have what we've had in terms of access to local uh, health care, in terms of our kids getting into local primary schools, in terms of our overall quality of life. And that, David, I think, matters more than GDP rising by okay. 1% per well, annum. No doubt we'll do this. Eddie is on. Well, uh, between 2001 and 2011, uh, EU migrants put in 20 billion into the EU economy. They put more in than they take out. I know people are concerned about immigration, but we've got to look at the facts. These facts are in front of us. I mean, Sarah Wollaston, she exited the Brexit campaign today because she said that the figures that are coming out from uh, the uh, Brexit side are coming out false. And she said, and she's a she's GP, she said, like the NHS, a lot of information was stoked up about the NHS, and she said it's not true. It isn't true. So she has actually left the campaign and she's joined the Remain side. There are sceptics, you are sceptics, that are joining the Remain side, even though they're still sceptical, because they see the economic problems of pulling out. We pull out, we are going to go into recession. Brexit is almost an anagram of recession. If you put two S's into the word Brexit, it's Brexession. They almost designed it that way. <laughs> What's, and, that, what's and, that got to do with immigration, Eddie? Wasn't that the question? Well, no, the I mean, point just, is immigration. If we pull out, then we become Norway. Norway still has to have the free movement of people in. So we become Norway, no, we are we going to become Albania? No, we if we become Albania, the Prime Minister of Albania wants to join the EU, or we Britain? become Canada. The point is, you are from an immigrant family, and you're married to an immigrant. Why are you so against immigration when it works Because we have to control it. We have no. to control no. it. Hang on. You Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. You grew up. You're, from, you're French Protestant from one side, you're German okay. from the other side. Yep. You should be the champion. Well, you I should am. be the champion well, I am. of people who I are am. immigrants coming in. Look but what they why? did. They got it to your situation. Why, why, do you want, why do you want to stop people from the Commonwealth coming in? Because we have an open door to why Southern... Why do you want to stop East... people coming in from I the want country? Austra Austra from because I want to have an Australian-style point system in their graves. where we get the right people <laughs> coming to Britain Nigel, in the right numbers. Nigel, you told your followers to bully people to vote for you. This is not the Eddie, right attitude for Eddie, you to Eddie, have. Eddie, if we go on with current levels of, Im of immigration... You've got to answer your own personal situation here. Our population you will, are be, from an will, be, family. will be 80 million <laughs> by 2040. All right. All right. How, how okay. are we going All right. to? I'm gonna, I, yeah, there, 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 how are we going to cope? There are four. There are right. three. Three other people at the table. I'm going to.